Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744, guys. So today, guys, we're we'll predicting with you guys the Champions League, Europa League, and Europa Conference League games, guys. We have 12, uh, a lot of games to discuss. I think we have 20 games to discuss, so we're going to go ahead and quickly get started. But let's start with the Champions League first. Of course, I'll leave, I'll leave the prediction links in the description below if you guys are interested. Let's start with PSV versus Borussia Dortmund, guys. A very, very interesting one. PSV are, of course, on beating guys in the area of Izzy. I believe they got, like, um, they've scored 70 goals, only conceded 10. Players like Noah Lang, um, then obviously they got Luke De Jong, Pepe, um, then obviously Sergio Dest. Like, the team looks very, very good. And then Dortmund, on the other hand, are also looking great as well. Sancho, full crook as well. This should be a high-scoring game. Both defenses are kind of sketchy at times, and I do think this will be a good, exciting game. I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw, is my prediction. A 2-2 draw. And I do think PSV will score first because they're the home team. They're the home team, and I think they'll uh they'll dominate. But I think Dortmund will be uh, I think Dortmund will play good. They'll score the goals. Player of the match. It's hard to predict this stuff to be honest with you. It's hard to predict this stuff. I uh, I'm gonna personally go with. I just got this feeling that Sancho will do this. I just got this feeling. Why is Sancho not here? I feel like Sancho's going to have a very good game. I just got this feeling for some reason. Next up, it is Inter versus Atletico Madrid. Actually, I'm going to my booster for this one. This is going to be a tight one, guys. Inter is a very good team. We know how good their attack is defensively. They're also very, very solid as well. And I just feel like for me, Inter is like one of the best teams in Europe. Just on current form alone. They're like, I think like nine points clear. Yeah, Juventus at the time of recording this video, they're looking amazing. Atletico Madrid also uh, very formidable as well. I do have some concerns of Atletico Madrid on the road because on the road they can be very sketchy. And Inter is very, very good at home. They I think they've only lost two games at home this season. And and, and Atletico Madrid, obviously players like Griezmann, Morata have to come through. It's going to be a very tight one, guys. Very, very narrow one. And I think for Inter, the key for them is to make sure they keep a clean sheet. Because even if they win this game like 2-1 or like 3-2... I think Atletico Madrid have the it's they're in the ascendancy because the second leg's at their stadium. So I think for Inter, if they could win this game, that'll be great for them. So I'm gonna say Inter is going to win 1-0. I think it's gonna be a 1-0 win for Inter. I just think Inter for me is just gonna sh and, uh, be very defensively solid. You know, I like this uh, center back partnership is Cherby, Bastoni, a very, very good center back. And yeah, I think Inter is gonna score first. And the player of the match. See, Lotaro and Thoram is the obvious answer. I don't think it's going to be one of those two. I think it's going to be a midfielder for Inter. And for me, I am going to go with Barella. Or actually, you know what? I'm going to go with Chalano. I think Chalano is a really underrated player. So I'm going to go with him. Next up is Napoli versus Barca. Oh, the match I'm dreading the most. Um, Honestly, guys, I don't know what to call with this one. Because it's too difficult of a game to call, guys. It really is. Um, I could go back and forth with this one. Uh, I think, see, the thing is, I don't know how Barca will respond to this game. Well, are we going to see Barca turn up or are we not going to see? Because let's be real, guys, this Napoli team is not that great. Because this team is very reliant on Victor Osman and um, Kvartskalia. So, I have a feeling that... It's going to be a very interesting game, but I have a feeling that Barca will actually find a way to win this game because I feel like, I don't know why, but you guys, but this is how I feel. I feel like Napoli is going to dominate. They're going to create the most chances. They're going to be the much better team. But just I guess going to come through with the big, big saves. And I just have a feeling that Barca will be clinical with the few chances they have. So I'm going to go Barca to win 2-1. But honestly, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. I think I, think I got a feeling that Barca will find a way to win this game. Um, player to score, the man of the match, I'm going to go with Yamal. I think Yamal is my pick. Fantastic player. Next up, but honestly, guys, that can go anyway. I could see Napoli even getting a draw or even winning in that one. I like him draw kid now as well. The Porto Arsenal, this will be a very interesting one, guys. I think a lot of people are underestimating Porto ahead of this matchup. And so the Arsenal should win. Arsenal do have the better players, let's be real. Arsenal obviously have the individual brilliance. But my issue with Arsenal is that I feel like they rely on individuals uh, too much. And I know they've been scoring a lot of goals recently. Uh, Porto, on the other hand, have been struggling. 
But I feel like this Porto team at home is very difficult because I believe Barca was the first team to beat Porto's unbeaten streak at home for a long time in the Champions League. And can Arsenal manage to get the better of Porto at their stadium with the hostile atmosphere? It's going to be interesting. So I'm going to go very the unpopular prediction. I'm going to go with the 1-1 draw. I just feel like for me, Porto is going to put up a good game. But I just feel like Arsenal, I just feel like Porto won't be clinical enough to win. That's my issue with Porto. That's the reason why I can't put Porto to win this game. I have a feeling Porto will actually score first. And I think the man of the match is going to be Arsenal. And see, Gabriel Jesus and Martinelli feels like obvious. I have a feeling it's going to be Declan Rice. I just got this funny feeling Declan Rice is going to be the man of the match. Where is Declan Rice? Why is he not on here? Where is he? Where is Declan Rice? Is that supposed to be Declan Rice? Because that doesn't even look like Declan Rice. Okay, I have no idea what they put that picture for, but that's definitely not Declan Rice. So, anyways, those are my Champions League predictions, guys. Let's see how many I can get correct, because these predictions are tough to call. Moving on to the Europa League, we got here. It is Korobek versus Braga. Braga, man, they absolutely crapped themselves the first leg by losing 4-2 at home. I think this will be a very exciting one. I think this is going to be a draw. I think it's going to be a draw, and I'm going to say 2-2 draw. I think it'll be a high-scoring draw. Um, but I just feel like, for me, Braga are defensively very, very sketchy. And uh, for that reason, I think Warbeck will capitalize. And yeah, I, I do think Braga will struggle in that regard because they're defensively bad. Next up is Freiburg versus Lons. It's a tricky, tricky one, guys, because this could go either way. I have a feeling this will go 1-1. And I got the feeling that Lons will win on penalties. But honestly, who knows? That that could go either way. Freiburg can win as well. I can't see Lons winning. I, I just can't see Lons winning away in Germany. Lons, at best, is maybe a draw. But I don't think they can win. So I'm going to go Freiburg. I'm going to go with them to score first. And who is that guy? Is that Gregors? I'm going to go with him. Rons, Rons versus Milan. I got the feeling that Milan is going to win this one. Actually, this may be a draw. I think Milan may rest players for the second leg because they've already practically are through 3-0 up. And so I feel like this might be a scenario where Renz might win this game, but it won't be enough to overturn the deficit. So mm, what do I go for, guys? Because I do feel like Milan will play their second string team. Or actually, do they play the first team? You know what? I'm going to say a draw. I'm going to say a draw. I'm going to say a 1-1 draw. I'm going to say Ron score first. Um, but I'm going to say Milan will get back in it. And I, I don't think Milan will go for it. So I'm going to say Gori scores that goal. But yeah, Milan should be advancing. The next up is Toulouse versus Braga. This is going to be a very, very interesting one, guys. I do think Toulouse have what it takes to be uh, Benfica. Because obviously Benfica, we kind of saw they were kind of underwhelming that game against Toulouse at home. So I think Toulouse is going to score. But are they going to score enough goals? Because I'm kind of just tempted to go with the 1-1 draw, to be honest with you. I'm really just tempted here, to be honest. So, you know what? I'm going to go with the 1-1 draw. Not really convinced with Benfica, but I, I do think Benfica will still make it through. Uh, because I, I do feel like they have too much quality. So, I'm going to go to lose. I'm going to go with Delinga. Delinga to score the first goal. Sporting versus Young Boys. This is practically a formality at this point. Sporting destroyed Young Boys the first leg. I can't see Sporting. I can't see Young Boys making a comeback. So, I'm going to say... Sporting wins this one. Another, like, 2-1. Not as convincing as the first leg. I think they'll rotate, but still get the job done. And I might actually play my booster for that one. You know what? I'm going to play my booster for that one. And I'm going to go Gokaris to score. And I'm going to play my booster. Because this was the easiest to call. Marseille versus Shakhtar Donetsk. I'm going to go with a 1-1 draw. Uh, because I feel like Marseille is going to crap themselves. Shoot themselves in the foot. And then I think Shakhtar is going to win on penalties. I got a feeling Shakhtar is going to win on penalties, guys. I got this... Frank, a freaky feeling. And I'm going to go with Aubameyang to score first. Sparrow Prog versus Galatasaray. This will be a very interesting one. Obviously, we saw how good Sparrow Prog were in the first leg. I feel like this will be a tight one. Uh, I'm going to say 1-1 draw. I think it's going to be a 1-1 draw. I just feel like for me, Galatasaray have too much quality. But I do think Sparrow Prog, because they're at home, they may have the momentum to score first. But yeah, I do think uh, Galatasaray will equalize. And get back themselves, get them back in the tie. So I'm going to go with uh, Kuchka, the guy that scored the first leg to equalize. And the Roma versus Feyenoord. I'm going to go with Roma to win two, uh, maybe like a two nil. Uh, I'm going to say, mm, I'm going to say a three one. I just think Roma have too much quality. I've been really, really impressed. And Feyenoord for me, they're not that great on the road. So I'm going to go with Roma to win. And I think um, I'm going to go with Lukaku to score the first goal. 
for this one. So that's my Europa League predictions. Of course, there'll be links in the description below for you if you guys want to join. Moving on to the Europa Conference League we got here is Gant versus Mike Kiba Haifa. This is actually going to be the Wednesday kickoff. So I'm going to go with, for this one, guys, I am going to go with Gent to win this one. I'm going to say they win this 2-0. Um, and get the job done. And yeah, I think Gent's going to win. And I'm going to say the goal score for Gent is going to be uh, it's Tusadula. I think he's going to score the goal. Makaba Haifa, they're not that great on the road, so that's why I don't predict them to advance. They could maybe get a draw, though. A draw would be good for them, but I can't see Makaba Haifa winning. Voto Glemmer to Ajax. I'm actually going for a surprise pick here, guys. Even though my original prediction was Ajax, I was very unconvinced with Ajax in the first leg. So I'm actually going with Voto Glem to win here, guys. I'm going to say they win this 2-1. Uh, I feel like they've been pretty good at home, and I just feel like for me, Ajax just got lucky that first leg. So, I'm going to say Bodo Glim just gets the job done. And I think the guy that's going to score the goal. I'm going to go with Sori. Sorely. I'm going to go with him to score. Uh, Dinamo Zyka versus Real Batiz. I still think Real Batiz have enough quality to do this. But it's going to be tight. So, I'm going to go with Real Batiz to win 2 0 on the road against Dinamo Zagreb. This is a very sketchy prediction because I'm not very confident with this one, but I do think Real Batista have too much quality because I've looked at this Dinamo Zagreb team. They're not that great. So I'm going to go with Real Batista to win. And I'm going to go with Nabil Fakir. I think Nabil Fakir will come up clutch. Next up is Ludogratz versus Servette. Another very tight one, guys. I think I'm going to go with Ludogratz, though. They're at home. I just feel like for me, Ludogratz is just pretty solid at home. They're generally pretty good at home, where Servette's not really that great at, um, on the road. So I'm going to go with Ludogratz to win 2-1. At home, get the job done. Uh, let's see who scores a goal. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, uh, Tech Fight T. I'm gonna do with him. Legendary Warsaw for some mold. I was really, really impressed by what Legendary Warsaw did in that first leg like, to overcome a to reduce the deficit to a one goal margin is very commendable. And I have a feeling Legendary Warsaw is gonna do this. I think Legendary Warsaw is gonna do this. And I'm gonna say Legendary Warsaw wins 3 2. I'm going to say 4-2. I'm going to go for a high-scoring game, but I feel like Legio Warsaw is going to do this, guys. I think Legio Warsaw is going to do this. Um, and I'm going to go with them to do this, man. Hopefully, they can do so, man. Then Ferenc Varos versus Olympiacos. I'm going to go with Ferenc Varos to win. 1-0. Um, and then I think Ferenc Varos is going to win on penalties. That's my prediction. Then Frankfurt versus UNSG. I'm going to go with Frankfurt to advance. I just think UNSG, um, I just don't think they're defensively that great. And I just feel like uh, Frankfurt have too much quality. Um, I don't really trust UNSG on the road. So for that reason, I'm going to go with Frankfurt to get the job done. And I'm going to go with their guy, Kellerzic, to score the goal. And I might play my booster for this one. Yeah, I think I'm going to play my booster. Slovenia Batisley versus Strong Gods. I think Slovenia Batisley will win, but it won't be enough to overturn deficits. So I'm going to go with Slovenia Batisley to win like 2 1. But it won't be enough to overturn deficit. So, Slavia Barcelona will still be eliminated. But I think they'll still do it because they're at home. And I'm going to say for Slavia Barcelona, I'm going to say Rodriguez. Rodriguez scores that goal. So, anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below of your predictions. Please run a like and subscribe. Uh, comment up your thoughts, comments below. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.